Hello everyone, G-Pop here, and it is 3 a.m. in the morning. I am exhausted, I am tired, and this trailer dropped uh, a few hours ago at the time of this recording, and I am extremely exhausted. I, I, have, I wasn't able to uh, react to this initially when it first came out because I was busy with a lot of other things. Um, admittedly, one of them is Grand Blue Guild Wars. <laughs> it's kind of been really busy with that, so... I kind of missed that, and oh, this, yeah, this just came out now, and I'm just reacting to it. I apologize if I sound very tired, or I, I don't want to say uninterested, but I am extremely interested in this, but I'm just like kind of mentally out of it. Um, so if this video goes up, it's because I don't want to re record it, I'm just putting it up as it is. It's still an initial reaction anyway, so it's kind of the piece of purpose if I try to react to it again if it's not initial. So now we're now we're seeing it's now Akiha and Ark. Quite an interesting pair, uh, but it makes sense because these are the other two main heroines um, for Tsukihime. And now we're gonna see these two. So this is gonna be interesting. This will be the first time we're gonna see more uh, gameplay of these two. So Akiha is based more on Full Moon Seifuku, uh, with some stuff from the other moons too, uh, but mostly Full Moon Seifuku from Actress Again. And Ark is still looks like she retains her old self, like how she was at Cadenza or before that. So she doesn't get any of the new stuff. At least we haven't seen any of the new stuff from Actress Again, which is like the Air Sonic moves, which is like the swipes, uh, which was notorious for being a really, really good tool for pressure in the corner, as well as a combo extension tool. So uh, since she doesn't, uh, at least I assume she doesn't have any more, maybe this trailer will surprise me. Uh, she's gonna be kind of toned down but like back to basics kind of thing so but we're gonna see what kind of new stuff she has so uh, anyways enough of that let's get right to it Akiha versus Ark all right so Akiha on the pro one side Ark on player two side Alright, special interactions. Oh, we got the music. Alright, we got the rings from Akiha. She shields all those parts. Okay, multi hit. Alright, nice conversion. Oh, she gets the jump in. Alright, she counters. Shield counter. Auto combo. Oh, she misses the air grab, though. Oh, she did the elbow into the launcher fall off. Oh, she still got the air career grab. Okay, so that's her 2C, which wall bounces now. Goes into the combo. Ooh, what that mash. That's what we call a body. Ooh, nice combo extension. All right, we got some new combo routes. Ooh, okay, looks like she still keeps her uh, combo routes. Okay, so air shield counter. Goes into arc dry finish. Nice. This, I think the first time we got an arc dry finish, right? All right, so that's the first round. Oh, I like that pose that she makes. <laughs> kind of fits with her carefree uh, style. Okay. So she did 5C, but I don't know if she has a follow-up that where she uh, corner carries. And I hope she does. It makes sense for a um, more widescreen game. All right, DP. All right, jump C is still out there. Try jump C. All right, repeat pressure. Air throw. Doesn't look like she gets much out of that air throw. Like, oh. Okay, she shield that, but she shielded the counter. The teleport counter. Alright, so that follow up still there from the air DP. Alright, rapid beat. Ooh, what a combo extension. Okay. So she still got jump C stuff. Jump charge C stuff. Oh, okay. Interesting. Shield counter. She shoot counters the DP. Smooth scale. Alright, charge 5B is there. All right, arc drive. Is this gonna finish? Is this gonna get a kill? Oh, it looks like it might. It does. Arc drive finish. All right. All right. So it's one one now. Ooh, I like that pose from her too. So now both have four bars. All right. So I'm gonna knock down. Oh, command grab. Okay, we saw it as a command grab, but I don't know if we saw it as a regular command grab. Like, we see EX version. Who knows if she has regular command grab. 
Alright, so there's like a teleport elbow. So keep shielding that, huh? Oh, here comes that super. Oh, moon drive to follow up! Alright, what a conversion. Oh yeah, triple jumps, right. It has that. Ooh, overhead. God, those triple jumps, it's so weird to see out there. Okay, so she has the overhead. But we don't know if that's truly an overhead, she didn't charge it. Ooh, nice uh, reverse beat to for better recovery. And Akiha takes that. She looks... The animations are so good. Aw, oh, man. Banger as always. Yeah, banger as always from Raito. So, alright. Let's break this down a bit. Um, oh, man. I am so exhausted. But, yeah. Let's break this down a bit, guys. Alright, so going to the intro, we know how all that usually works and stuff like that. So going to their intro screen, you know, their special dialogue, let's keep it brief. Akiha is very much in Bob. Actually, both of them are quite in character in general. So, open your magic circuit. Yeah. So, I think the good thing about this game, uh, I know this is from CL2, their dash animations, you actually see them run now, because sometimes... Uh, in act in uh, previous games, um, you don't see them run like you don't see their legs move. You just see them kind of like it's kind of like flying forward kind of thing, so where their legs don't move. So now with this game with the updated sprites, you actually see the legs move now. See how it's the same thing. All right, we're gonna move it. So she puts down her running air ring and she shields all of it. Tries to shield counter, but she blocked that. All right, jump C, jump B into a quick air grab. So from that low, okay, so she does her uh, signature full moon, uh, full, like, that, uh, I forgot, I don't know how to call that, but that's a very popular move for getting back in. If she does that, it's like usually, it's usually plus. Uh, but she moon drives. I don't know if she was actually plus. It looked like she actually kind of recovers and she could, uh, maybe she's minus now or zero, but yeah, she moon drives. To shield that, so she saw what she was doing. Oh, that's actually a pretty sick direction. I didn't notice that. So, when she shielded, uh, Arc tried to um, do the thing. I think try to punish that shield with her the up forward movement. Uh, so something someone noted is that people notice that when you do this raw, it actually costs half of your moon drive uh, meter, and so that's like the benefit of doing it off a shield. Like if you do it off a shield, it doesn't cost anything. In fact, it'll give you if it connects. But if you try to do it raw, it will it costs half of your moon drive. Uh, so she tried to do it to punish her. So she like, shield. Looks, I think she held it to, so it can like, shield both sides, which is interesting. Usually when you do shield, um, you can't hold it. As soon as you, uh, as soon as you shield something, it automatically stops and you can either do a shield counter or whatever out of it, but you can't hold it. So I don't know if she actually held it or she pressed it again so I can get the second hit. Let's see. It looks like she held it. So it looks like you can hold a shield now even after it shields something. So a bit of a less risk because if you th think that something's gonna be multi-hit or they're gonna try to do something, you can just hold it instead of trying to press it again. So she heals, shields both that and her, what she thought she could punish. And then she chases after her with her own version, which uh, auto-corrects the direction. So it's actually a pretty cool interaction that she did that. So I was like, she did up forward and Akiha chases after her. So puts on that stay, looks like you fall off. All right, so, so it's showing that from 2C, airborne 2C, you can combo into that move, which I don't recall you could before. But before it was like mostly specifically a pressure a pressure reset tool, but now she could, which is already a pretty good buff. And then she goes into rapid beat. So I think, so I'm kind of worried about that. This is was her classic 4C from Akia in general. But because now this is in the middle of auto combo, it kind of implies it's an auto combo only normal. And I kind of hope it isn't because this move is a really nice move in general. It's very notorious for coming out extremely quickly for a C move that you can kind of use to poke out, like even for a bar. A bar means like mashing, like uh, out of pressure and stuff like that. 
auto combo, jump B, jump C, double jump B, B, C, but she, she accidentally neutral jumps. So that's why she kind of misses the combo. Yeah, so she puts her too far from the air grab. You're supposed to jump forward. So she takes out of that. So she looks like she did something, but we didn't see. Yeah. I think it was DP, like the anti-air move, but uh, you know, she was too high. I noticed it was a moon scale because she's still glowing blue. So I noticed that when they're moon drive, uh, at least the players playing the game, they tend to like mash their moon skills because when you're in moon drive, your your moon skills get uh, gain armor. We don't know if they gain armor outside of moon scale, but from what they showcase so far, you do get armor when you use moon scales while in moon drive. All right, so she uses her own moon skill of the uh, signature elbow into launcher or into the. Uh, the knee, um, which puts you up in the air, and she is able to, yeah, oh, okay, so she's able to follow up with, like, a high jump, super jump. Is that, like, a launcher now? It has a launcher property. Maybe it's the moon scale version that does launcher. Yeah, jumpy, jumpy, see, into air throw. So I didn't actually notice how much advantage she has, but she has quite a bit of advantage. So Arc's grab, like air grab, is one of the best because she always lands right beside you. But what's more important is that she doesn't side switch anymore. Well, in the corner it never did, but like if it was mid screen, she would some, it would side switch. But now I don't think it does. So that's a, it's even better. So she keeps like the kind of position she kind of wants. So it's really good, and she's still pressured like a lot of time to like stay in there. So her, she does her ground throw, which she does wall slam. So. I'm assuming it's going to be the same as before, where like, depending on where you hold, it'll de determine if you do wall slam or if you just do hard knockdown. If you hold down, it'll do hard knockdown. If you don't, it's just a natural like, throw you to the wall. And it looks like she did the traditional hold to the wall, which you can combo out of, as she shows. But this time, she, act she shows that you can combo off of 2C, which is very important because now 2C does ground bounce. It didn't before. Before I just do a hard knockdown. So usually after the wall, a wall throw, like uh, after the ground throw into the wall bounce, uh, you would just do either like air combo, or you would do um, ex uh, slashes, which I don't know if she does, but you did, there was like a reverse DP motion, and that would do like another, uh, I believe, wall bounce. And you can and allows you to combo into the ground series and stuff like that. Apologies, I'm just yawning. It's kind of really late here. <laughs> Going to straight to sleep after this, but yeah, she does two C ground bounce into uh, Rekka's. I've noticed that all the times we see her do this ground bounce, she always goes straight into Rekka's. I wonder if this is like a specific follow-up thing or this is just a cancel she can do as soon as she lands i hope it's like a cancel she does right when she lands and like they're just always doing rekas but you can probably do bomb more often and stuff still into ex rekas does hard knockdown to a oh and she tries to do something else what did she try to do did she try to do she tried to do something else i don't recognize what it is but she mashes out of that a bar out of it two two so she does, let's see, 2A, I don't know what this is, but okay, that's 2-2A, 2C, charge 5B, which is not pretty standard to do off 2C, into that uh, special, where she jump cancels into, ooh, okay, so this is very st interesting stuff. This is kind of like reminiscent, reminiscent of Half Moon, because she kind of does that too, but uh, yeah. So charge 5B into that special, follow up into jump cancel, charge uh, jump C, uh, into jump B, can, uh, like reverse B, lands, 5C, reverse B, uh, uh, is that rapid B? No, it wasn't rapid B. She just does the launcher uh, command normal. Uh, and she still had her jump cancel, so she could still do that. So she did, jump, she did single jump BC. And she was able to jump cancel. So I think what it looks like, and we noticed this from uh, the seal trailer too, if you don't do double jump BC, um, you re still retain whatever air uh, movement you had. So, for example, in this case, because she didn't do double jump uh, BC, 
at air throw, she still retains the double jump she had before. So this is kind of showing that that might be a new thing that we have to keep in mind when ending combos, if we want to keep the uh, jump cancel or not. I think characters like Ciel, she or an Aki, maybe even Akiha, they might because that means it kind of gives her better Oki. Uh, now this is assuming that they don't have a move that helps them go closer. Akiha doesn't look like she does, so she might do that to retain the jump cancel, and maybe she could try to get in uh, like that, like she dash into it. So she noticed that moon drive. She tried to use the movement defensively to try to like read that Oki, but Akiha saw that. And notice that she's gonna try to do 5 big anti air, but she shields it. Shield counter. 2C into that uh, motion. And then goes into arc drive finish. Arc drive, you know, shows off her V Akiha form, uh, Vermilion Akiha, which is actually how it was in previous Melty Bloods too. Um, but even when she had a Vermilion Akiha version, like in, in general. But yeah. Okay, going to second round. Okay, I love that. Look at that. She's like stretching like as this. All right, time to actually get serious now. Um, just classic arc. I just yeah, classic arc. All right, so now she has four bars. All right, she does ground ring now. Again, arc tries to shield all of it, and she does. She holds it again. Something I'm really noticing that when you hold it. Uh, they're able to recover from it and then do ground normals. Uh, we're not haven't seen them do immediately go into uh, like a regular normal off a shield, which I don't think is the, I don't think it's going to be the case. Where they want to go into um, normal, they have to hold the shield and recover first before doing it. Oh, that two B. Let's see. That is two five A two A two B two C five C, and she doesn't do a uh, follow-up so her 5c is very not notable this move is very notable because in C arc and previous arc in general if you do 5cc she does like the 5c in general used to like just always knock you across the screen by doing 5cc she kind of jumps forward with like a blue after effect following her just to, just to really tell you that it's a special like a dash cancel kind of thing uh, and she would chase after it, you can like follow up with a combo so even if you like she's knocking you across the screen she can follow up with a combo which is amazing for corner kick well i don't know if she has that she never uses it in this trailer so because if i see it too too much four uh two one four a quarter circle back elbow into the wall bounce uh follow up and she's able to uh, combo from it because, you know, she's close enough to the wall. Jumpy, jumpy into air grab. Alright. Again, that really, really low instant air dash. Look at that. Really low instant air dash. So she counters that. Oh, but she did it too late and she, Eric was able to uh, land and uh, block, just regularly block that uh, counter, that up forward counter. Uh, that's a... Yeah, so it looks like those aren't unblockable. They're just really showing that. And we've already known from previous trailers, too. Alright, so she does that move, which is a decent ender for Akiha because it kind of makes her safe. So, Ak Ark just jumps out of it. Classic stuff. Alright, so she does. She catches her in the air. Goes for a quick combo. DPs with the fall into the follow up. Regular follow up. Ooh, dodges the jump. Charge, jump C. Goes into that, but it doesn't look like she's plus anymore. She was forced to block. Interesting. Alright, that was uh, Akiha's 5A, or Safe Book's 5A. Uh, yep, once again, air grab, catches on the air, runs far. I wonder if Akiha's, I wonder if Akiha's 5A, this normal, is still a low. Because what made it really good was that it was a standing low, which was, which was really, really good. So, they always have to block low. She says 5C, uh, 4B, or no, not 4B, 5B. I wonder if you can charge that to make an actual overhead. Charges 5C, but she shields that. But Ak uh, Ark no uh, reacted to it uh, because Akiya tried to do teleport uh, 
shield counter. Ah, uh, but she uh, shields that. Shows the RPS mechanic there. So she goes to air combo to DP into EX Ender. A follow up from that. Which kind of is more for damage as a show. Puts them far into the corner, but you know, started able to tech. So, anti air fire. Um, yeah. Was that a counter? No, it wasn't. So uh, it just shows that she can fall off from that from with Moon Drive. So again, Rapid B. Again, that no, that four C looks to be Rapid B specific. Oh, was that a ground bounce before she did fire off jump B? So charge jump. Yeah, it was. Okay. Interesting combo extensions. All right, Moon Skill. Uh, she used the Moon Skill version of the ring. I don't know what's the difference of it. Ooh. Okay. So something to note here. So. When Arc did her DP, uh, Moon Driver, which has she, I well that has armor, but she, Akia shielded it. But you see how high she was already. But she did her shield counter, and her shield counter like vacuums Arc, uh, Arc back to back to Akiha so that it could connect properly. So that's kind of interesting. Before it wasn't like a vacuum; it just hits you if you're in the hitbox. You're in the hitbox, and you just get hit from that position. So again, they're showing like, you know, when you're moon drives, you're just spamming that, um, yeah, moon scale. And right there, you see the armor properties on it. And then she goes into arc drive, finishes it off. Kind of sad that it's kind of like this green vine thing and not the chains. The chains were kind of cooler. But oh well. All right, moving forward. All right. Burn your magic circuit. I love... I love Aki has both. I love it. I like Aki in general. All right, now both of them at four bars. Ground ring. So again, Arc's trying to shield all that. Oh, interesting. Okay, so what they're showing is that, like, okay. So the th interesting thing about shields, there are like two kinds of things you can shield. So if it's like a what they call a single hit attack, you have to shield it once, and then usually you have to press the shield again to shield the follow up. So some normals like uh, Nania Slash, um, uh, like you know, regular normal stuff like that. It's a single hit, and if there's any follow ups to it, you have to shield each individual hit. But there are sometimes normals that are considered like a multi hit, uh, multi hit property. For example, for example, Nero's Birds um, in uh, act in uh, previous multi bullet games. If you shield one like of the birds, it because it's considered multi-hit, like you'll be locked in that shield animation until all the birds go through. And then that's very important to know because if you shoot because you're locked, it doesn't freeze the screen like this. So let, let's see here. Does it freeze the screen when she gets into the No, it doesn't. You see? While she's in that locked animation of shielding those multi-hit this projectile that they consider multi-hit. You see Akiha is able to move during that. So usually like the first hit, it's like a screen freeze. But then after that, you see she's still walking back when she's still shielding the rest of the moves. The reason why this is important is because when you're locked in that, you they're still vulnerable to things like getting grabbed. So sometimes they will uh it would set you up to like into uh era like to like uh, uh so what was the word? Um into a situation that you cannot get out you have to block because if you try to shield it you are locked into that situation they'll grab you before you can do anything like shield counter so akika could theoretically grab her from that but she didn't and instead i've opted to pun it or block the teleport uh shield counter which i noticed her te teleport uh shield counter is actually arcs uh, dunk move, which was from Half Moon to C. Um, I don't recall C Moon had that. No, I don't think so. She had that uh, that what we saw in the air, what, uh, the one where she like flips around. Uh, she had that instead. All right, so going to C counter hit. Yeah, so combo again. Follow up. All right, so she does EX uh, ring or EX uh, ground ring. Which is very notable for being like really good hard knockdown. So she puts a, a ground ring now, but now it's higher in the air. So I guess two one. I think quarter circle back A, A is like the lower version and B is the higher version. And this is very very notable 
because it kind of puts them into a four like the reason why it was really good back then is because it kind of puts you in a four way mix up uh, kind of hard to react to because you're also blocking this but as you notice that ground where that air version um it doesn't it doesn't force you to block it anymore. You can crouch under that and you're safe. But that's also the mix up because the opponent will think that, oh, you have to block it. And that's why she's able to command grab them. Command grab. <laughs> Gonna go to set up. Oh, set up, set up. Command grab. Just a reference to one of the like there are videos, but yeah. Uh, the only problem is if you see her doing that, you can kind of react. I think you can kind of react to it. Uh, but then again, I'm playing as long as 0.5 times, so maybe not as much at one times. Another thing, another big thing to note, she, when she, the only times we ever see her do command grab is from EX version, not from like a regular version. Um, Seifuku was able to do command grabs, but she could do regular versions this time. Uh, we could only see EX version, and I'm kind of worried because if this is... Uh, if this is not a zero frame grab, they can jump out of it because the flash gives you enough time to react. Uh, but let's see how long it takes. So from here, literally next frame she grabs you. So I wonder if this is like a zero or one frame grab. I think Melty Blood, I know in Undernight there's jump startup and that's why some normal, some grabs like Aki, like Mika's grab, if you're not already jumping, uh, you're gonna get grabbed because there's a few frames of jump, uh, jump, uh, not recovery, but jump startup. And if you're that jump startup means you're still grounded, so I wonder if it's the same thing. So even if it's like a one frame or two frame, because of jump startup, if you're not already jumping, you're gonna get grabbed. So I wonder if that's the case. It looks zero frame though, zero or one frame though. I'm assuming it's zero frame. If it's zero frame, then that's good. It doesn't matter if there's the flash animation. But yeah, I know another thing to know is that when she's getting command grab, she's actually also getting hit by the ring. So you do day take, take damage if there's some still something active while getting command grab. So two C, two B, uh, yeah, rapid beat. Well, what was a rapid beat? Was that five B? Yeah, it looks like five B rapid beat. So it, it kind of looks like that four C is specifically a rapid beat normal now, which I'm really really sad about. Jumpy. Wait, was that from single? I think it was from single jump. Yeah. Air grab. And then she keeps her double jump uh, options. Yeah. Alright, so she um, shields that, but again, because it's slow, she's able to uh, block it. Alright, so that kind of pushes her back. So it shows that on block, the elbow with that follow-up puts her on block. Okay, again, that shield puts her in a multi-hit uh, shield stun, shield block. Alright, she goes in uh, EX elbow this time. Moon drive to follow up the combo, which is pretty cool. The following jump C, okay. Just want to note, just want to really show showcase this normal here, jump C. It's extremely notorious for being just like Miyako's normal, except even better because it has a better hitbox. This was a very, very, arguably, an, like a, the most annoying move to deal with because just like Miyako's uh, Jump C, it's active for a lot of frames. I think it's like 10 frames it's active for. So you can throw this out more preemptively to like catch people trying to challenge you. So that's what made this really good. So I'm assuming it's the same case here because it looked like Miyako's the same case too. Anyway, she lands. 5B. No rapid beat. So I think it was just... Uh, 5B into instant, uh, um, was it? Instant, uh, launcher, which the launcher looks like it used to, it was what her, uh, not 623. I know, oh no, 3C. 3C used to be her launcher. Um, I wonder if it's still 3C, that's what all the launchers are, it's 3C. But it looks to be that's what it is. Uh, so her 3C is now this launcher property. So, because of the moon drive, she does triple jump, but she doesn't do jump C. It's just from jump B. So I wonder if there's some kind of thing. Maybe there's a lot of hit stun deterioration, hit stun decay. All right, so she does this normal. I forget. It's the moon skill version. I forget. Oh yeah, she tried to do moon drive reversal, but uh, she did the moon skill version of whatever this is instead. Um. 
I don't think I've seen this before. I wonder if it's like a full moon specific special that I've never seen, but it's like an overhead that jumps over, so beats low profile. So that's the auto combo from Ak uh, Arik. So I remember before I was like talking about, I think I was talking about this normal. Um, oh no, I was talking to a multi discourse like, is this a new normal from her? But no, it looks like it's an auto combo specific normal. Now that I understand it a bit more. C, jump. Okay, again. She ends with jump B into air grab instead of doing jump B, jump C. Alright, so pressure ends into Rekka. But that looks like it's overhead. It doesn't look like it's charged. It was just a regular version, like, and it looks like it's overhead now. So she thought that she would hit it. She thought that she would hit it. She was surprised that uh, she actually blocked the overhead and tried to go elbow for the follow up. It looks to be pretty safe, that el EX elbow. Because it puts her in the air, like, airborne state. Kind of reminds me of like Dengeki Bunko, that there are certain block uh, moves that put you in like this airborne block zone state. But the problem difference is that you have to you you cannot do anything until you hit the ground, but they cannot do anything to you either until you hit the ground. Uh, it's more like uh, a visualization of an extended hit stun. But it looks like from here she puts in the airborne state, but she's able to jump cancel out of it, like she's still airborne. So she tried to do something. Uh, Arc tried to do something from that. What was it? Oh, well, she tried to DP, but she got hit out of it. It wasn't, it definitely wasn't the reversal version because there's no invincibility. I don't, wait, was it Moonscale? Oh yeah, it was a Moonscale, but now it's showing that Moonscales still don't have invincibility. So you cannot like try to use that to reversal or like, and, like reliably at here. So, and she was able to beat it with Jumpsy Mahat. Now, I thought that Moonscales from while in Moon Drive gives them armor, but maybe Aki has jumps, charge jump C has like armor breaking capabilities. If that's the case, then that's kind of interesting. Yeah, that means now, Moon Skills, even though they have armor, doesn't mean that they're actually like a, a way to beat every option, which would be good in my opinion, but we'll see. But she's able to catch it with charge jump C, goes to her combo again, 5C. Is that, I think that was reverse beat. Uh, rapid beat, but she cancelled early into EX uh, pit or EX up. Yeah. So it goes into 2A to time the ring, looks like. Ooh, okay, so kind of tricky stuff there. So put the ring, jumps in. I made her think that she's gonna land for a low, but instead goes for a double jump charge C overhead. Okay, so that was not Rapid B, because he went from 5A, 5C, uh, launcher. And finishes it off there. And still was able to get the grab at the end. Oh, I forgot to check. Does her air grab, does her grabs heal her? No, it doesn't. So before Akiha, okay, so Akiha had the thing where when she does that, she's actually a vampire. Hence the vermilion Akiha with the red hair. But when she does these kind of grabs... Um, it would actually slightly heal her red health, or in this case, blue health, like, uh, dark blue health, I guess you call it. Um, but it doesn't look like it does it anymore. I don't remember, maybe that Seifuku doesn't do that, but I know regular Akiha and Vermilion Akiha did that. So it doesn't recover, or maybe it's just because, like, it's already post-game, like, she already, like, won. Let's see, uh, was there another example where she did that? No, she already has full health. Okay. Oh, let's check the first round. Oh, no, okay. So when she did Arc Drive, she was gaining back uh, red health or recoverable health. But let's see. What about from here? So it does this. Does she recover health? Okay. She recovers recoverable health. Okay. Interesting. Okay. She doesn't recover regular health. She recovers recoverable health. Okay. Makes sense. I wonder if, she, if it shows here too, and I missed it. No, okay, so I guess once the match is over, it doesn't do it anymore. Okay. Uh, but that's it for the analysis. I'm just going to end it there. Again, it's exhausted. It's 3.45 a.m. now. Oh, God. I got to go to sleep. But thankfully, it's the weekend. But again, apologies. This is not going to be happening. This is getting, this, 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 this is getting, this is being posted. Uh, much later than usual. It's not as early as the previous reaction, so again, I apologize, but uh, 
yeah, I just didn't realize until much later. So thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys later.